Hello again. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Splash Lake for the TurboGrafx CD. Um, this is a fun little puzzle game. Uh, you play an ostrich, and you basically have to clear the level of all the little other critters or animals or whatever in order to progress through um, harder and harder levels through multiple boss stages. Um, I don't really know if there's a plot. Uh, if there is, I, I don't know it off the top of my hand, but basically it's, it's a puzzle game. So how it works is you'll notice the little green tile with a red diamond on it. Those are like anchor tiles, and typically any tile any tiles that are in between multiple anchors have to be broken free or cracked. So you'll see in this stage there's a number of anchor points in the corners and along the edges. And any tiles that we peck at and crack will fall apart. And what you want to do is basically get the enemy to be on those tiles and sink them um, before they, you know, so that you can clear the level. So this level, I mean, these introductory levels are pretty easy and straightforward. That one basically everything was um, could be broken by a single tile. These tiles with the X here, those are ones that you can't directly peck on, but they can still fall in the water if, you pe if you're able to free them from their, from their anchors. So, so far we've pretty much seen everything be anchored on one location, uh, or one or two different anchors, but the anchors can become increasingly more complicated based on how they're, how they're attached to the um, to the to the tiles that you wanted to actually sink. So in this case, I wanted to sink the whole thing at once. So I went and I, I broke one of the tiles right adjoining each of the anchors to that actual play tile. Um, basically, on this level, what you want to do is you just basically as long as you can get behind the enemy and, and, and peck, you'll be you'll be able to sink it because there's just one anchor tile. So anywhere after you've kind of gotten past the enemies, there you can go ahead and. and that level. And here you see it begins to get a little bit more complicated. You have to actually free it up on one or two different sides. So freeing it up on that side um, sunk the monkey there. Here I want to wait for the monkey to cross before I do it again. And here again I'm going to jump over the monkey. Really the only actions you have are, you know, peck and jump. So jump allows you to jump over one tile um, or an enemy if, that, if there's an enemy between you and that tile. And peck obviously just causes you to, to to break the tile in front of you. You can't directly peck peck it at an enemy. I mean, you can, but it'll just cause you to get hurt. And right there, I pecked a little prematurely, and before I was able to get back to a, a safe anchor spot or whatever, I actually fell in. And that's how you basically die or you lose a try, is if you get um, hurt. See those little um, energy meter at the top of the screen? There's three bars. If you get if you touch an enemy three times. Um, you'll die, or if you fall into the water, um, you'll you'll die too, and you'll have to you'll lose a life, and you'll have to start over. So now we're going to take a look at the first uh, boss, stage 110. Uh, basically, this is a little turtle, and what you have to do with him is you have to sink him three times. So that's our first time. Um, just like you know other games of the era, three's the magic number. Um, so we're going to try to set him up for disaster again. Here we're going to sink him a second time. So we pretty much just rinse and repeat, do this a couple times. Um, there we actually fell in trying to to sink the little rabbit guy, so we have to start over again. Right, we're going to break these tiles free so that if he steps on them we can sink them. And there we go, there's number one. We're going to set these tiles up so that if we see him come over this way we can sink them again. I'll probably try to sink this rabbit here. But, oh, we got the frog as well because the frog stepped onto the tile just as it was sinking. So we need to sink the frog once more. Um, since we cleared out the rabbits, they're going to actually respawn. If we hadn't cleared out the rabbit until after the frog, then we wouldn't have to do this like final wave here. But we have these three little egg guys. And we're just going to do some fancy footworking in order to jump over them and get them to sink. So we've sunk two. Uh, we're just going to now we're just going to set this little area up again. Wait for him to step on it, and there we go. We've cleared out that wave. 
In between each stage, they show you this little comic relief scene, this ostrich theater. So here you're expecting that the ostrich is going to basically sink the, the little rabbit, but instead he ends up cracking the screen, looks kind of confused, and then run away, the rabbit's going to get you. So it's just these silly little moments, they're kind of cute and fun. And so now we're going to enter stage 2 1. And you'll see the theme of the tiles is a little different, the music's different. The enemies are more or less the same, but again, it's early. There's some new snake monsters and whatnot, but um, we're going to wait for this egg guy, jump over him. But yeah, it's it, you know the game's fun. It's a little silly, it's goofy, but it's it, can, it gets pretty um, strategic down the line. So there I am, I just jumped in the water and killed myself. But that brings us to the end of this uh, turbo look, so until next time, we'll smell you later.